Mantis property includes integration with your email accounts on Gmail, Office 365, or if your email account supports IMAP. This allows Mantis property to connect into your email account and automatically record emails that have been sent to any of your contacts or received from any of your contacts. This is a great system for being able to keep all of the information being sent to and from contacts within the CRM. And you can simply look up a contact, go into the email tab, and then see any emails that have been sent to or received from those contacts by any of your users. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect up your Mantis property account to your Office 365 account. When you do this, it will automatically record any emails sent to and from any of your contacts on that contact record. It will also have the option to record any of your calendar items in Mantis property into your Office 365 calendar. For instance, if you have any inspection times recorded or you book any appointments in your Mantis property calendar, they'll automatically be added into your Office 365 calendar so that they show up on your desktop and your phone. The connection for these appointments is two-way, which means that you can then make changes to those appointments, such as the date or time or notes, or even delete those appointments directly from your phone or your Outlook program and it will automatically update your Mantis property account. So to connect up to Office 365, you simply go into your user account and over on the right hand side, there is this section here, connect email account. You just need to click the connect account button at the bottom. Here you will be given options to select. So the first thing you need to do is select enabled and then you have the option of selecting sync appointments. If you deselect this, then it will just record your emails that you send to and receive from your contacts. But if you have the sync appointments box ticked, then it will also record your calendar items from Mantis property in your Office 365 calendar. The next thing is to select the provider. So here we need to select Office 365 email and calendar and then you click the consent button. This will then take you automatically to your Microsoft sign in. If you're already signed into your Microsoft account, it will automatically just connect up and it'll come back to this page and say the status is connected. If you're not connected to your Microsoft account in your browser already, it will just ask you for your username and password, which you need to put in. And that's all you need to do. So now that this is connected, every time any emails are sent to or from a contact by this specific person, they'll be recorded on the contact record under the email tab.